I'm Patrick Daly. I'm the Managing Director of Alba Supply Chain Consulting and I am the author of International Supply Chain Relationships. How can supply chain relationships be classified? In reality, there are three headings under which to classify supply chain relationships and these are power position, duration and complexity. By power position, what we mean is whether or not one party or another is more or less dominant in the relationship. Sometimes there is great asymmetry between the partners in the relationship. Say, for example, between a large multiple uh, retail outlet and a small grower of vegetables. On the other hand, sometimes there is more of a, an equilibrium between the partners, such as between a large primary manufacturer and a secondary manufacturer. The other aspect uh, that we use to characterize supply chain relationships is the duration of the relationship and the distinction between long-term relationships on the one hand and so, uh, short-term relationships on the other. So for example, manufacturers will often have very long-term relationships with logistic service providers that span many, many years. Whereas for specific projects, the relationships for the implementation of an IT system or for the delivery of a facility, a distribution center, might be much shorter in a period of months to, to a year or two. By complexity of the relationship, we're talking about the breadth the depth and the frequency of the interactions in the relationship. Some interactions are specific to a place while others are global in nature. Others require very superficial levels of engagement while others require very deep integration indeed. So when you're thinking about your supply chain relationships, think about these aspects which are key to how you're going to manage and develop these relationships in the future. Your power position, the duration of the relationship and the complexity of the interactions.